Next Need for Speed game's title has been leaked. Horizon Forbidden West might be coming to PC and Crisis tweets about Crisis 3 remaster. Wait, what? But he tweeted about Crisis 2 remaster last week. And now it's Oh, what's what's going on? Hey what's up guys and welcome back to once again to Gamer Connect. You guys are watching Top Gaming News and yes I'm wearing a very weird shirt right now because guess what it's hot. It's around 35 degrees even at night and I cannot wear oh, those black t-shirts. No that's not gonna happen. So today I'm gonna wear this. By the way my name is Gin Manus and let's just jump right into the news because we got some really exciting ones. Last week we saw Crisis Twitter account posted a tweet saying that they used to call me Prophet and then posted another tweet of an image which is most probably Crisis 2. Well recently Crisis posted yet another image and this time around it was your suit standing in the middle of the city which does not look alive at all and the tweet had rolling eye emoji and along with that tweet was a reply saying 3. Is 3 his lucky number? Is that what's going on? Could it be? Could it be Crisis 3 Remaster? Or, or is it going to be Crisis 2 Remaster? Was that scene there in Crisis 2? I don't know. I don't remember this game. It's been a long time since this game came out. So I'm sorry that I don't remember. But is it possible that they will be releasing Crisis 3 Remaster and Crisis 2 Remaster at the same time? I mean if aliens are real I guess anything is possible. In my honest opinion I don't think so Crisis 2 or Crisis 3 should have a remaster. And if you talk about Crisis 3 it looks so damn good back then and it still does look so amazing. Man, I want to play Crisis 3 once more. But the fact is that these games don't really need to have a remaster. These remasters are happening with the sole reason of having ray tracing features and making the lights look much more awesome. Well, we have to wait and see what they're actually cooking. I'm sorry Rock, you're not invited in this one. Well, at least the director of this game is still working alongside Crisis. The same cannot be said with the Infinity War directors because, well, they, they, they have a different story this time. Infinity Ward studio design director Taylor Kurosaki along with the narrative director Jacob Minkoff have left the studio. These guys joined Infinity Ward after working with Naughty Dog and they joined during the development of Infinite Warfare. Yeah that was a brilliant game. But the biggest development and the most significant one was Modern Warfare 2019 which was a great tonal shift for the game and in my opinion one of the best modern Call of Duty games of all time. Even though all Call of Duty games were set in the future. According to their statement, they left the studio to pursue a rare and exciting new opportunity. We are not so sure about what this exciting opportunity will be. As for Infinity Ward, we have to probably wait another year to see what they're actually working on because this year's Call of Duty is confirmed by Sledgehammer Games that they're working on it and it's rumored to be named Vanguard. Going back to World War 2. Well all I care about if these guys can make a much better Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. 2. You know the new Modern Warfare 2. We're gonna call it a new Modern Warfare 2. That's much better. After a fantastic success of Cyberpunk 2077, the game has now a new director. This comes from a report by Game Industry that Gabriel Amatangelo, who was the creative director of the game, is now apparently the new director of the game. Gabriel will take over Adam Badowski, who is the studio head of CD Projekt Red. This change will let Badowski to focus more on his original role that is the studio head as the studio is moving towards multi-game development strategy. Cyberpunk 2077 wasn't a great release and we all know what actually happened. But the devs are actually ready and very much dedicated to fixing all the issues that came with Cyberpunk 2077 and that is basically all about lags and well the game not working and bugs. The joint CEO Adam Kuczynski said in April that the studio is convinced that they can bring the game to a such a state that they can be proud of. The DLC plan for this game was delayed so that they could focus on fixing the game but they did promise that the DLCs will be coming back. According to the image that I showed right now on the screen, apparently sometime this year is when we are supposed to get the free DLCs along with a free next gen console upgrade. Only time will tell what kind of DLC Cyberpunk will have in the future. Gabriel who is now the new director before joining CD Projekt Red has actually worked with Bioware as a design director on Dragon Age Inquisition DLCs and has also worked on Star Wars The Old Republic. Also another report came by that Mortuez and his last name that I cannot spell, I'm so sorry about that man, who was the quest director of Cyberpunk 2077 has now stepped down and left the company. That is quite interesting. Well, what do you guys think about Cyberpunk 2077? Have you guys actually completed that game? I still haven't. 
The game has an update of 50 GB and I don't want to download it because it takes a long time. It takes around 20 minutes of my life. Last week we saw a new gameplay of Horizon Forbidden West and my god the game looks so damn impressive. The visuals are absolutely a step up from the last game with the brand new combat system. But the question in mind is whether this game will be coming to PC or not. Horizon Zero Dawn was released to PC as well and it was a great success. A lot of people loved that game. Not only that, Sony themselves saw that as a big success because in the financial report, they mentioned that it brought around 250% return on investment. So keeping that in mind, Horizon Forbidden West might be, most possibly, be coming to PC. And if that's not good enough for you, Days Gone, which is supposed to be a PS4 exclusive, is now not anymore because it came on PC earlier this month. And not only that, according to the financial report of Sony, it has also been mentioned as Uncharted 4, which will be coming next to PC. So that also shows that Horizon Forbidden West might be coming to PC. And yes, I do know that it might not release on day one. Of course, Sony wants their game to be first witnessed in their consoles, but maybe it could turn into some sort of a timed exclusive. And maybe, maybe after two years, it will release to Steam. Or maybe Epic Store, you should not count that store out, come on. Well, Horizon Forbidden West looks splendid. Now you can go underwater and maybe there is some underwater fights in the future in that game. You can now ride machines and also new type of weapons are added in the game which looks super cool. And I believe the particle effects in this game are also stunning. Overall, I'm very much excited for Horizon Forbidden West and I cannot wait for it to play on PS4 in 25 FPS. Yeah, I'm hoping that the game actually runs in 25 FPS because then I'll be surprised because then the game will run at 45 FPS and I'll be happy. Damn, now I expect that the game is gonna run at 45 FPS. You should never expect anything from a new video game that's coming out. Microsoft announced last week that Xbox and Bethesda will have a joint game showcase on June 13th and it's pretty exciting because many rumors suggested that Starfield might be the game that they will showcase. But now we got more rumors that more games are coming on the showcase. Xbox Insider globally... Clo... Clo said that he knows that there are five massive AAA games to be announced in the showcase and the first true showcase would be Forza Horizon 5, which isn't surprising. Another info came from Windows Central journalist Jess Corden, who seemingly teased in a tweet with a vampire emoji. And that was it. Like, that was the tweet. Maybe he was watching Twilight and then he got so much bored that he actually watched Vampire Diaries and actually appreciated vampires. Maybe that's what you can come up with a tweet. Or most obviously, it's a video game. And that game is Project Omen. This game is reported to be a vampire game made by Arkane Austin. This reported new game will apparently have space exploration similar to No Man's Sky or Outer Wilds. So now we are talking space vampires? An insider from Reset Era also said that a vowed game from Obsidian Entertainment will be shown in the showcase. This game was teased last year as the first person fantasy RPG game set in the world of Pillars of Eternity. He said that the game is in great shape and almost fully on schedule. Now this is all a rumor so things change here and there all the time. Similar to the rumor that came out last week where someone said that Starfield is actually done and dusted whereas Jason Scryer then reported that it is actually not done and it will be coming out next year instead of this year. E3 is just around the corner and to be precise it's in two weeks. So we can wait a little bit more longer so that we can know what new games are coming out and then everybody will be happy or sad. I don't know. It's, it's a time for games. It's the ultimate showcase of immortals, of video games. Recently, a Criterion employee revealed what possibly could be the title for the next NFS game. This report came from 4chan where the employee used this logo in the Adobe portfolio. So the next NFS game is Criterion's Need for Speed? What? Now this could actually be a code name for the game. Usually a studio just does not have a name for the game right away. They have to go into production and sometime later they decide the name of the game. So for the time being, everybody in the dev team will refer to this game as this code name, which is Criterion Need for Speed because it is made by Criterion. So I'm sorry to say this, but this is not the title of the game. So far, nothing has been shown about Need for Speed from EA and is still under wraps, which means either they will talk about it in EA Play on July or it's still under production and needs more time to talk about it. What do you guys actually expect from Need for Speed because it is made by Criterion, who don't have a much great, you know, 
history in terms of Need for Speed games. But what do you think? Regardless, let me know in the comment section down below. Well guys, that was it for this episode of Top Gaming News. Hope you guys enjoyed this, liked it. And if you did, leave a like, comment down below what do you think about any of the news we just discussed. And do not forget to hit on that subscribe button because we have much more videos coming every single week on this very platform that is Gamer Connect. My name is Gin Madness and I shall see you guys in the next one. Until then, stay safe, stay awesome and always remember to have fun. The three fundas of life. <laughs>